Hi there, my name is Adrienne McNair and I work for the Alzheimer's Society of New Brunswick in the Fredericton and surrounding areas as First Link Support. Because we're going to be staying at home a lot more frequently, we thought it'd be great if we could offer some ideas for some activities that you can do at home. Over the next few weeks, we'll be releasing various types of activities so that you can try them out and if it works for you, that's great. And if it doesn't, hopefully we'll have another activity that's more up your alley. Today I'm going to be talking about early stages and activity ideas, late stages activity ideas, and sensory activities. With the early stages, the person living with dementia is very independent and can sit and read a book or do some crossword puzzles, things like that. You can also help prompt them in ways. So for example, you can leave a potato peeler out with some potatoes if you want them to help out with supper that way. They can see those two things together and it kind of gives them an idea of what the next steps are. Suggestions or instructions should be short and clear as to not overwhelm the person living with dementia. And during these uncertain times, it's important to set aside the time of the day to do something enjoyable together, which could be going for a walk outside or sitting together and reading the newspaper looking through a photo album, and to turn that into an activity, you could talk about picking out all the photos that have someone wearing a yellow shirt or something like that. Great ideas for early stages is doing a puzzle together, doing a craft together, maybe even some trivia. I have a great game where I always finish the end of an old expression, like two peas in a pod. Cat got your Ton. That's a great way to spend time together and it's a great way to make sure you're exercising your brain. Light exercises are also great, even if it's just lifting weights on a chair, something like that, depending on your mobility, but make sure to always ask your physician before doing any exercises. Chores around the home are great and prompt would be that you pass them a room and ask if they can sweep up a certain area or even washing windows. It is spring cleaning after all. The internet is such a great resource right now. There's a lot of puzzles or crosswords online. Even watching a funny cat video can cheer you up on a tough day. Late stage dementia activities are things that are more geared towards being stimulating activities. They might not be able to do something as independently as they once did, but they still have dignity and should be respected. As the disease progresses, we often still keep our sense of humor. So this is another time where you could watch funny cat videos together. Try to keep the activities that you do together short and sweet, as the attention span might not be as long as it used to be. Don't take anything personally. Sometimes it can be frustrating when you don't think someone's enjoying the activity, but try to remember that they have a different reality and short and sweet might be better for them. So making sure that you tailor the activities to them and one day it might not work, but one day it might. So for later stages, you can do things like tying or untying yarn and rolling it up again, or making a knot and asking them if they can untie the knot for you. Sorting socks, things like that, even if they're not sorted correctly, that's okay. Uh, getting a deck of cards. You might not be able to play crib or hearts anymore, but asking them to separate the cards by color or by numbers or by clubs and diamonds. Sensory activities are more focused on our senses. So taste, smell, and touch. These are great and can be used at any stage and can be used for any, any one person. I know I love aromatherapy for myself. Finding a nice window that the person with dementia can look out of uh, can be a stimulating experience. Watching the birds go by or even installing a bird feeder close to that window can ensure there's a little more action. Other ideas for sensory activities is baking bread in the oven. That might prompt a, a reminiscing memory of their mother who used to bake bread in the oven. Smell is a very powerful tool. 
Using touch with essential oil can also be great. If someone has a sensitive nose, make sure to use unscented lotion, and it might not be for everyone. So I always make sure I ask before, you know, rubbing someone's hand with lotion. Reading to the person living with dementia is also a great way to spend time and connect with them. As you're reading the story, try to show your expression as to what's happening in the book, and that's a great way to help the person living with dementia connect with what you're reading. And of course, pet therapy, if you have any pets at home, that's always a great way to get a, a cuddle and a nice soft touch in. So like I mentioned before, we will be releasing more videos and if you have any ideas, don't hesitate to reach out. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and of course available by email and phone. I hope you have a lovely day.